Have you ever heard of the movie Barabbas? It's from 1961 and has some fascinating stories behind the scenes. There are plenty of surprising, funny, and sad facts about it that you might not know. So keep watching this video to learn more. Did you know that there are lesser known facts and anecdotes about this movie that are quite fascinating? This movie has impacted many people's lives in different ways. Can you share a personal story of how Barabbas has inspired or affected you? We'd love to hear your stories and memories related to this movie. Share them in the comments below. So, keep watching to discover more about the intriguing facts surrounding Barabbas and share your own experiences with us. We're excited to hear from you. The story of a man chosen over another has left a lasting impression on audiences since its release in 1961. It delves into themes of forgiveness, redemption, and the struggles of the human experience. The tale follows a man who finds himself unexpectedly set free instead of another. This pivotal moment alters his path in life forever. Throughout the journey, he grapples with his past and searches for meaning in a world undergoing change. The story's enduring relevance lies in its exploration of universal themes like forgiveness and the quest for purpose. Many individuals relate to the struggles depicted, making the narrative relatable across generations. Furthermore, the story's influence extends beyond its initial release. It has inspired numerous works of literature and film that delve into similar themes of redemption and faith. In summary, this timeless narrative continues to resonate with audiences due to its exploration of redemption and the human experience. Its enduring impact is evident in its influence on subsequent works of art. In a noteworthy collaboration, Anthony Quinn and Arthur Kennedy, who later starred in Lawrence of Arabia, shared the screen in the same film. Meanwhile, Silvana Mangano, almost as renowned as Sofia Loren in Italy, was married to producer Dino De Laurentiis during the making of the movie, raising four children together over nearly four decades of marriage. Additionally, Ernest Borgnine and Anthony Quinn embarked on their first joint project in Barabbas, later reuniting for Jesus of Nazareth and High Risk, with each film spanning different decades. The span between the first and last collaboration totaled around 20 years, marking a significant era in their shared cinematic journey. In the movie, Nero was portrayed by 62-year-old Ivan Trisol, even though historically, the emperor died at 30. During the scene depicting the burning of Rome, all city sets were torched for realism, requiring everything to be filmed in one night, in one take. While filming in Italy, Anthony Quinn, who played Barabbas, began a romance with Jolanda Adelori, a costumer on set. They had two sons together before marrying in 1966, when she was pregnant with their third child. Their relationship added an interesting dimension behind the scenes of the production. Italian censorship granted approval for the film on a December day in 1961. Katie Gerardo, recognized for her minor role, often finds herself in the top billing whenever the movie graces screens in Mexico and Central America, courtesy of her significant celebrity status in those regions. The movie also marks the final appearance of Natasha Lytus, adding a poignant note to its legacy. The film Barabbas, known for its average shot length of around 82 seconds and a median shot length of about 74 seconds, received mixed reviews from British critics. While the scene where Barabbas talks to Lazarus about being raised from the dead garner praise, it was cut from the UK release of the movie. This scene was absent from television showings for many years until its restoration in the 21st century. Silvana Mangano, known for her role as a peasant temptress in Bitter Rice, was considered one of Italy's sexiest women. She played a significant role in the film, adding to its allure and intrigue. In the arenas of ancient Rome, patrons didn't vote thumbs down to kill a vanquished gladiator. Instead, they signaled with thumbs up if they wanted a contestant to be put to death. Dino De Laurentiis competed with Joel Brenner for the title role. The solar eclipse during the crucifixion scene was real, occurring on 21 5 and 61, for which the director delayed shooting to capture its ethereal nature. Considered too old and out of shape, Anthony Quinn faced doubts in playing a gladiator in the movie. After their initial collaboration, director Richard Flesher and producer Dino De Laurentiis planned another project, the Sacco and Vanzetti story, which never materialized. Despite a legal dispute between them, they reconciled by 1974 when Flesher directed another film for De Laurentiis. The cast boasted three Oscar winners Anthony Quinn, Jack Palance, and Ernest Borgnine, along with three Oscar nominees Arthur Kennedy, Katie Girardo, and Valentina Cortes. In the realm of film history, the relationships and interactions among actors often shape the narratives we see on screen. During the production of a particular movie, a fascinating dynamic unfolded behind the scenes, adding layers to its story. 
In this production, a notable actress shared the screen with a prominent actor, their collaboration spanning decades and multiple films. Their on-screen chemistry captivated audiences from the late 1940s to the late 1980s. In a significant scene of the movie, a rising star had a minor role, foreshadowing her tragic fate in later years. Her presence in the film added a poignant footnote to her brief but impactful acting career. Behind the camera, a key figure engaged in a romantic affair with a rising star during the filming, revealing the complexities of human relationships amidst the creative process. In the world of cinema, these intertwined relationships and personal dynamics often remain hidden, yet they shape the very essence of the films we cherish. The movie, beyond its narrative, stands as a testament to the connections and interactions that define its creation. In the early 1960s, a significant film emerged from Italian cinema history. It was a project of grand scale, financially backed by producer Dino De Laurentiis, who had amassed profits from previous international hits. Anthony Quinn, known for his Broadway performances, was approached to star in this film, necessitating the purchase of his Broadway contract due to his dislike for a co-star. The film commenced production in Italy and gained certification from the British Board of Film Censors before its release in London. Quinn's involvement brought a new dimension to the project, shaping its narrative and impact. In the Italian version of the film, Arnoldo Fai provided the voice for both Barabbas and Joseph of Arimathea, dubbing Anthony Quinn's lines. This created an interesting dynamic where two characters shared the same voice. Jack Palance, known for his role as Torvald, previously starred in a live TV presentation of Rod Serling's Requiem for a Heavyweight. In the film adaptation of the play, the lead role, originally named Harlan Mountain McClintock, was changed to Louis Mountain Rivera, and Anthony Quinn, who played Barabbas, took on essentially the same lead role as Palance's co-star. The theme of the Gregorian Mass of the Angels permeates the entire film, adding a distinctive atmosphere to the narrative. In his autobiography, director Richard Flesher recounts an amusing incident with the Italian crews during the filming. They once asked him when they could take an hour-long strike, as instructed by the local union. Flesher suggested they do so during the lunch break, and they agreed without hesitation. The story spans about 30 years, although for the film's narrative, it condenses to roughly 20 years. Katie Gerardo and Ernest Borgnine, who portrayed Sarah and Lucius respectively, were actually married during the making of the movie. However, they later divorced in 1963. Their personal relationship added depth to their on-screen chemistry. Crafted with dedication and attention to detail, the movie captures the essence of its era and characters, making it a compelling cinematic experience. In the movie, Remington Olmsted, who played the guard in the Sulphur Mines, also appeared as the Decurion soldier in Ben-Hur. When the director found out Olmsted had been replaced, he made sure to bring him back, no matter the cost. Sharon Tate, whose role wasn't credited, made her debut in this film. Even though her part was small, it set the stage for her future in acting. These instances show how actors can move between different movies, even in small roles, and still have an impact. It demonstrates how working together in films can leave a lasting impression. During the making of a historical film in 1961, an unexpected tragedy occurred on set. In the midst of intense filming and attention to historical details, a key actor suffered a severe injury during a demanding scene. This incident caused a delay in production and cast a somber mood over the film's progress. Despite the setback, the cast and crew came together, showing resilience in the face of adversity. The injured actor, deeply affected by the accident, continued to participate in the project, showcasing dedication and professionalism throughout. This unfortunate event not only added complexity to the movie, but also reminded everyone of the challenges inherent in filmmaking. Despite the challenges, the production persevered, delivering a cinematic experience that captured the essence of the historical tale it aimed to tell. The film, driven by its compelling narrative and the collective effort of its cast and crew, managed to overcome the difficulties encountered during its creation. In the end, the film's enduring impact goes beyond its cinematic achievements, highlighting the resilience and commitment of those involved in its production. It serves as a reminder of the dedication required to bring such projects to life. Amidst the making of the movie, a tragic mishap occurred on set, leading to the loss of a stuntman's life. Despite all precautions, this unforeseen incident deeply affected the cast and crew, casting a somber atmosphere over the filming. The story revolves around a character who, instead of Jesus Christ, received a pardon from Pontius Pilate. 
He struggles with guilt and the consequences of his actions. Directed by Richard Flesher, the film features a captivating portrayal by actor Anthony Quinn. The protagonist grapples with newfound freedom, haunted by the memory of Jesus and the realization that he was spared in his place. He embarks on a journey filled with challenges, from slavery in the mines to becoming a gladiator in the arena. Along the way, he encounters various individuals who shape his understanding of faith, redemption, and life's purpose. Despite his struggles, he remains a compelling character, torn between survival instincts and the quest for meaning. The film's visuals and set design vividly capture the stark beauty and brutality of ancient Rome, immersing viewers in the world of gladiators, slaves, and religious upheaval. The contrast between Roman opulence and the harsh realities of common life is depicted with striking realism. Despite the tragic accident during production, the movie stands as a testament to human resilience and the enduring power of faith and redemption. Its exploration of themes like guilt, forgiveness, and the search for meaning continues to strike a chord with audiences. In a surprising twist, the 1961 movie shares a sad fact that adds depth to its story. It explores the tough reality of the character's life. He struggles against tough situations, dealing with the heaviness of his existence in a world full of problems. Throughout the movie, we see the ups and downs of life and how time keeps moving forward. The character's journey has unexpected turns, leading to a shocking discovery that leaves a strong impression. It reminds us of the difficulties people face during that time, giving us a peek into human life and how fate can be unkind. Set against the backdrop of historical and social changes, the film tells a story of resilience and hardship. The character's struggles mirror the tough realities of that era, showing the challenges individuals encountered in a dangerous world. The movie story shows the strength of the human spirit, even when things seem impossible. As we watch the characters go through their trials, we're drawn into a world that feels real and full of emotions. The sadness in the movie reminds us how fragile life can be, making us think deeply about our own experiences. The 1961 film Barabbas leaves us with a lot to ponder, reminding us of the tough realities of life, all the while showing us the resilience of the human spirit.